Hey there guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Not Enough Items mod for Minecraft 1.5.2 on your Mac. Uh, before I get in into this installation, the showcase is going to be at the end for this one, which is a little different, but that's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be short, sweet, simple, and pretty boring. It's not even really a showcase, just me saying, here's the mod, this is kind of what it does, and that's it. So let's get into this. There's going to be two links in the description. One that'll take you here to the actual Minecraft forms, and another one it takes you to my custom modded modding tutorials for Universal 1.5.2 file. So, you're going to want to go here to the Minecraft forms and you should see two spoilers, one for chicken code chicken core and one for not enough items. Hit spoiler show on both. So both of them should be open now. All right, so for the chicken code core, you're going to want to hit download for MC 1.5.2. Actually, I'm going to open it in a new tab, <clears throat> so it gets a little less confusing. I'm going to open it in a new tab, and I'm going to go there. And you're going to want to wait your five seconds, and hit skip add, and hit keep, and exit. And you're going to want to go down to the Not Enough Items tab, and go to installation plus installation instructions plus download spoiler and hit download for that one right there minecraft 1.5.2 and I didn't open that in a new tab because that's all we do and then we're done we can exit out of that so hit skip add for that and now you should have both of those jar files down here and then now you're going to want to go to the modding tutorials custom forge universal file hit download there that should download and you can now exit out of your web browser now I'm going to go and I'm going to retrieve the downloads Throw those on the desktop, spread them out a little bit so it's a little less confusing. I'm going to unzip the modding tutorials forge universal file, throw away the zip file, keep the blue folder, put those over here to the side, keep them nice and organized. Okay, and I'm going to go up here and click go. If you don't have the option to click go, just click anywhere on your desktop like this and then click go. Then click go to folder and type that in the squiggly thingy backslash library. By the way, the squiggly thingy is in the top left hand corner of your keyboard under escape. And then hit go. Alright, and then you're going to want to go into application support. Then you're going to want to go into Minecraft. I don't know why it's opening this way right now. Let me change that. And then you're going to want to go into your bin folder. And then you should see Minecraft.jar. You're going to want to change that to Minecraft.jar.zip by clicking get info and under name and extension add .zip to the end and exit out of here. Then this should pop up, click use.zip and double click minecraft.jar.zip, it should unpack like that and now you should have two folders, or one folder, minecraft.jar. The minecraft.jar.zip, put that on your desktop. Just in case you mess up later guys, you can move this back into your bin folder, get rid of the .zip and you should have a fresh clean Minecraft. If you don't, leave a comment and I can fix it up for you. Go into minecraft.jar and then open up modding tutorials forge universal custom file I made for you guys and click command A and then hit command C to copy them all or right click and click copy. Go in here and hit command V to paste all of the files. Check the apply to all box and replace. You can also drag and drop them in there but then it'll go away and I like to save all my mods so I'm going to keep it like that just in case I mess up later. Now you can go back two times. One, two. So you should see bin, resources, saves, stats, texture packs, etc. And you're going to want to right click and make a new folder. Name it mods. M-O-D-S. Just like that. And leave it. And you're going to want to make another folder called core mods. C-O-R-E-M-O-D-S. No spaces, no caps. Just like that. And you're going to want to get both of these files and just drag and drop them right on in there. Or copy and paste if you want. Oops. Excuse me. I messed up. Go back. Don't put them in the mods folder, put them in the core mods folder. Sorry, I have a bad habit because in all my other videos you put it in the mods. So the mods folder should be blank empty, the core mods folder should have both those files. And you're done. You've just installed it, so let's go check it out. This should pop up, that means you installed the custom forge right. And that should be done. And Minecraft should boot up, throw that into semi full screen for you guys. And go into single player, go into my not enough items mod folder save thing. Sorry for the squeaky chair. 
And then you can hit E, and this should pop up. For anyone who has never installed this mod, it's just like too many items, except some people think it's a little better. I definitely like the interface a little more. It's a little more simple. These buttons kind of match. There's not just random hollowed out buttons. It's a little harder to install, though. A little bit. So, well, actually, it's a lot harder, because you actually need Forge. But, you know, it's definitely, I like it a fair amount more. So, that's really the mod, guys. Um... I mean, it does a lot more. These options you can configure a lot, a fair amount. But, I mean, they don't do anything special. But this is really it. I like the spawners, though. These are very cool. How it actually shows it spinning like that, and then it actually comes out and starts. Do these things attack you? I guess they do. Yeah. I may be good at installing stuff, but I'm pretty much a Minecraft noob. But, oh yeah, that thing's not happy. Let's run away! Okay, you want to go? Let me quickly cheat and get out a diamond. No, 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 it's going to kill me. No, no, no. Oh, that went well. That went very well, didn't it? I think it did. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to have a little fun. Oh, okay. I have to try and create it. Never mind. Oh, one more thing. This magnet mode. This is pretty cool. So let's say I'm over here and I mine this way over here. Normally, you have to go and get it. Hold on. Do I have it off? I think I have it off. Turn it on. It comes to you like that. So let's say... I throw this way over here, and I run away. That wasn't very good, but it comes right back to you, which is pretty sick. So I like that a lot. I think it'll come to you, yeah, even from over here. No, 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 okay, let's see how far. Let's see if I can get as far away as possible, and if I can still outrun it. I don't think you can outrun it, though. I think it'll come and slap you in the back eventually. Yep, there it comes. So that's really the mod, guys. It's a pretty cool mod, though. Pretty simple. Simple interface, and I like it a lot. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, like this, and check in the description for your name, because I think someone posted a comment for this mod, and I'm going to shout you out. So, alright, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a good day.